Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your end of the week gold analysis for the trading week ending Friday the 13th of September. My last analysis expected downwards movement to a short term target at 1308. Price moved below that by $3.02, but it didn't stay within that small parallel channel I had on the hourly chart, it was too narrowly drawn. We did get downwards movement, and then it turned around and moved upwards though. So overall for this wave count I'm expecting more downwards movement. We've just seen the middle of a third wave complete. When the first wave minor degree is complete we'll have a second wave correction. When that happens it can't move beyond the start of 1 above 1433.83. In the next few weeks I may look at the degree of labelling here and possibly move it up 1 degree. We may have seen minor 1, 2, three, four, five. We may be nearing the end of intermediate wave one. We'll see how this one unfolds and how long it is. Either way, we've still got a second wave correction, whether it be minor or intermediate degree to come. So the invalidation point's the same for both ideas. The target remains the same at 1046. Primary wave five in its entirety We'll reach a quality and length with primary wave 1 which you see on the weekly chart. If you want to see weekly and monthly charts click on the gold historic analysis category on the right hand sidebar of the website. I'll also expect downwards movement to find support at the lower edge of this channel drawn using Elliott's first technique. I've drawn it from the end of primary 1 again you see that on the weekly chart to the end of primary 3 here and placed a parallel copy up on the high of primary 2. Primary 4 hasn't gotten up that far, but it is over here, it's a completed three wave structure, it stayed within the channel, primary 5 should end about the lower edge. I've changed the wave count in this little piece on the two hourly chart, I'm going to have a look at a two hourly chart today. I was initially looking at a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 leading contracting diagonal, but they are usually followed by really deep second wave corrections. What's actually more common is for a movement to start with a series of overlapping first and second waves, so that's what I think has happened here, and that resolves the problem that I had of a lack of a deep second wave correction. So let's have a look at this on the hourly, sorry, two hourly chart with the end of primary four up here. Is this point up here? So now we have one, two, one, two, three, we need four to complete and then more downwards movement for the fifth wave, and then another fourth wave correction. Draw a parallel channel around minute wave three using Elliott's technique from the end of one to three. Place a copy, well, normally on the end of two, but push it out a bit to contain these two highs up here. I'd expect upwards movement to find resistance at the upper edge of that channel, or before it should be contained within this channel. Minuet wave 2 was a relatively deep, sharp zigzag correction, so we could expect minuet wave 4 to be a relatively shallow sideways moving structure. So far what's unfolding here is a zigzag, this can't be a flat because the B wave is less than 90% the length of the A wave. Now either minuet wave 4 is going to be a shallow zigzag and show alternation and depth of correction and not so much in structure, although we would see alternation within the zigzag. This one has a long A wave and a short B wave. This one could have a relatively short A wave and a long C wave. Or this also could be just the first structure in a double combination if Minuet wave 4 is going to be a very sideways moving time consuming correction. Use the upper edge of this channel as your guide for when it's probably over. At 1338 sub minuet wave C will reach 1.618 the length of the A wave, taking price up to the 0.382 Fibonacci ratio of minuet wave 3 downwards at 1338.63 and maybe to bring price up to touch the upper edge of this channel. When that's done expect it to bounce off that trend line or before it gets there and move down to make new lows. I'll expect this final fifth wave to be equal in length to the first wave which was 57.20 in length. I can't calculate the target yet for you because I don't know where the fourth wave has ended, but expect the next wave down to most likely be about 57.20 in length. When we know where the fourth wave has ended, we will calculate a target for the third wave to end. I'm not certain that it's going to have a ratio with minute wave one, 
It's already past 1.618 the length of minute wave 1. The next Fibonacci ratio in the sequence would be calculated at 2.618 the length of minute wave 1. And that would be achieved at 1260. Certainly possible. I'll be calculating the target when this fourth wave's done and we'll see if we can get it calculated at more than one wave degree. Minuet wave 4 may not move into Minuet wave 1 price territory. Movement above 1359.25 would invalidate this wave count. At the daily chart level, alternatively, it's possible that primary 4 was not over there, that it's going to to continue further as a flat correction which requires the B wave to reach at least 90% the length of the A wave. That's achieved at 1205.74 so when we get down to that price point or below careful attention to downward structure will indicate whether or not it could be a three wave correction for intermediate B or whether it's a five wave impulse unfolding for primary wave five which is the main wave count. Both of them are still expecting more downwards movement at this stage, so there's no divergence yet. And eventually, for this one, once we have a B wave down, we'd have a 5 up for a C wave, and movement above 1433.83 would confirm this alternate and invalidate the main at that stage. So I was expecting more downwards movement for gold, that's what we got. I'm expecting the end of a fourth wave correction to start with some upwards movement on Monday. It could be a bit time consuming with choppy, overlapping sideways movement before it's done. And when it's done, look out for another five wave structure to the downside, about $57 in length. That's all for me today with your gold analysis, and I hope that everyone's having a fabulous weekend.